All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're doing today is, it's that time of year, it's extremely humid, hot, and of course, what do you think goes? AC. All right, so on this Tahoe here, um, we've had this Tahoe for a long time, and the step right here, it's starting to rust out. And let's get underneath and I'll show you here. Every time someone steps on this, it goes into the metal bar, this whole thing just moves down and I had already brought it to the dealership to have them replace the lines before and they did the same exact thing. They ran the lines right back down through, right where everything catches and that's where we always have our leaks because it's just pressing right up against there. So I had already cut out a piece here. I'm just going to leave that in there and that's actually where it's leaking from right there. Once again, they put some foam in here thinking that that would help. Uh, no, it doesn't because just the pressure going in here just wears away in and out all the time. So we're going to follow, this is a low pressure line by the way. So we're going to run these Sur and R fittings. It's almost like uh, running PEX uh, with a number 10 rubber AC hose. And I cut a chunk out here to make sure I got the right fittings. And we're going to attach on here. Like I said, we're going to leave this here and we're gonna cut down further here. And we're gonna run the rubber hose for the AC low pressure line. We're gonna run it around this and we're gonna zip tie it up through here. That way we're not having any more trouble. Cause putting it back in here, you're just gonna be replacing it all the time. So this is the AC line that you need and this is number 10 AC hose, and this is the Sur and R, and this is meant for air conditioning. These are for your low pressure. And this actually came with 10 feet. Um, I'm not gonna need that much, but it's good to have spare. If something like this happens in the future, I wanna run rubber instead of hard lines. It's gonna be so much easier. And these are the fittings here. And it's number 10 hose to 5 eighths compression. Like I said, it's almost like PEX. And that goes on your hard line there. And then your rubber hose comes off on here and they got the double clamp here to go ahead and cinch it down. So cheapest, easiest way. I paid $1,300 to have them redo the lines and some other stuff. Ridiculous. Save yourself some money. These, I think were 25 bucks a piece hose I think 30 or 40 I can't really remember but under a hundred bucks for these parts to go ahead and replace any holes rusting out or anything you got going on with your low pressure lines so other than this spot here there's really no room to get in to try and use one of these nice tools to go ahead and get a nice clean cut so and you can't use this, I mean, you could use a sawzall, but you gotta be extremely careful. I'm just using this little hand saw here, and that's how I got the, that piece there. And I'm gonna do the same thing down there. So let's go ahead and get a chunk out down there, and then we'll start getting everything together, and we'll try filling this up and see if it works. I think I'm gonna take this chunk out here and cut here. I think it's gonna be my best bet to get it be able to fit on there. Everything's super tight up against here, and you really don't wanna go bending up your other hard lines. Right about here. And we'll come back, cause I can't hold this and do it. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so now let's cut off another piece over here. And we're going to ream these out with a razor, vacuum, stick a Q-tip in there, get all the stuff out of there. You really don't want any shavings or anything uh, in your AC at all. Because <laughs> you can ruin your whole compressor. Oh. 
So I actually took that piece out so I could show you, but there we go. That's where it was leaking from. And that's just because it was up under here. You can see how rusty that is. And this step, every time you step on it, it just presses down into it. And that's what happens, just wears away. We got our sandpaper, we got our Q-tips and our razor. We'll start reaming out the hard line on this end. And the reason we're sanding it is so we get a good fitting on there. You don't want any of those barbs and stuff because we had a hand saw it. You should be able to put your hand on it and not get any burrs or anything. It should be nice and smooth all the way around. Now we're going to take our vacuum. We're going to suck this out. Now we can use our Q-tips. Let's make sure we got everything out of there. Let's grab our fitting now. Here's our fitting. You can see that there's the double clamp. That's where the hose is gonna go. But we're gonna have to take this apart. brass fitting there so we're gonna put this on that slides on there like that and you put your brass fitting with the cone part going towards it just like that and then you can see there's almost like a little rubber gasket in there and we're gonna put this on there and then we're gonna thread that on and then we'll tighten it up with the wrench. Now we'll just go ahead and tighten this up. Make sure it's in all the way. And so this is going to be a 7 8 for this one here and one inch for your fitting. All right, so that's on there nice and tight now. Let's go ahead and get our rubber hose, get our clamp on there. Go ahead and put the clamp over this. And get our hose on here. So let's go ahead and we'll pinch these down onto here. I always like to do it twice just to make sure. All right. That is on there nice and tight now. So there's one side hooked up. Now we're gonna run our hose over. But first we gotta go ahead and do the same thing we did on the other side. We're gonna ream this out, vacuum it, get the Q-tip 
clean inside and then we'll put the new piece on. Shove this end on first onto the hard line. Then the brass piece, remember the cone part goes towards it. Slips on. And now this piece. I do want to say, I do want to say that these little green rubber overings in here are paying the butt trying to slip this on, but they do go on, just takes a little bit of finesse with it. So, got this all the way on. Now we can go ahead and start tightening this up. Make sure it's seated all the way. measure out how much hose we're going to need here and we'll cut that and we'll run that up to it want some slack in it and we can zip tie it up there we go make sure we put our clamp on that's on there now Yep, make sure it's pressed on there all the way. And now we go ahead and clamp those down. All right, so we got that side on now, all clamped down. Same thing over here. We can zip tie this up here, up, up out of the way. There's one. There we go. There we go. Now that won't catch on anything that's under the frame. So everything is together and nice and tight and this is the reason why we did the rubber hose this time and went around this so we won't be having that rubbing and that's the same spot that it happened before so i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description if you're going to pick up any of this stuff um your ac hose and your fittings and you're going to need a pex tool uh, in order to crimp these down but well worth it and a lot cheaper than having the dealership do it for you we're all set we hope you enjoyed and once again, check out all of our other videos. And as usual, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.